Edge Pro AI was able to somehow fit so many amazing features into their app for the iPad and phone. The only downside is some of them could be a little hard to find. I'm DJ Spiegelspin. I made over 700 tutorial videos about DJ Pro AI and DJing with the iPad. And I think I found all of these hidden features and drop down menus. The first one is going to be if we go down here to our mixer and effects section, it looks like this in both classic mode and in pro mode. Now we're going to go to the second one over here, which represents our cue points, which are very important, but we're not talking about that today. And then we have cue, pitch cue, and then we have slice. When you go to slice, you see how there's no hidden drop down menu here, no arrow. And then if we go to slice, this is going to pop up. This is the hidden drop down menus that I'm always talking about. And I want to show you where all of them are. So you press this one and then you could go from slice to skip. And now when we're in skip, we have this menu, which is really important. And that is the beat skip. So if you want to find 16 beats from the drop or from a certain spot in the song, you just set this to 16 and you could go back. You go back or you could go forward. So this is a great way to make sure that your mixes are in phrase and on time and you could set a mix and set a cue point and know where 16 bars back is, eight bars back is, and then you could do these really good blends. Another feature that's in here is the auto mix start and end. With this feature, you could choose a spot in the song that you want auto mix to start out every time you play that song. So every time that that song is being played in auto mix, it will start at that point and then you could pick where it's going to end. And if you make a full playlist in order like this, then you could almost make a pre-made mix using auto mix. And it's really cool. It's a great way to make sure that your songs start and end at the correct time when you're doing auto mix. Now the next hidden drop down menu that I want to show you guys about is in our waveforms. So these ones are really hard to see because the waveforms could be blocking it. So let me just eject one of my tracks. And if you're wondering how I ejected the track, I guess this is a hidden feature. If you hold down the music select button, we get a couple of these features here, which is double scratch tools and Shazam. And then if there's a track on the deck, I'm going to do the other one. You can eject the track. So it's Kind of like ejecting a CD from a CDJ or a CD player, which is kind of cool. And then the double is a great feature. So you could play two songs at the same time and listen to one on your headphones. So if you're not familiar with the song, you could see what's going on. But now you see this waveform over here. And the hidden part of it is right here next to the two, which you could see now if there's no track. But up here, if you try to find the same one, it's a little hard to see because of the waveforms. Again, there's so many features they had to squeeze them in. Now we're going to open this drop down menu and we get all of this. I go into more detail in my recent video about the waveforms, but basically you could get rid of the jog wheels and have bigger waveforms. And then you could set it to dark mode. You see how the background is the same color as over here. I like to put it in dark mode so you could see, and you could even do vertical waveforms. So to get to that, it's the hidden menu right under the right next to one and two. Next one is this whole middle section over here. So in classic mode, you can make the whole thing disappear. Or if you press over here once, you get this mixer section volume filters, which is cool, but we could go even farther and we can press this EQ. So now with this press, instead of the wasted space here, they put the volume sliders here and the volume sliders are see-through, so you could see your levels going through your vol volume sliders, which is like, that's just such a good idea how they did that. And it looks really good. It's similar to the one on the Tractor 2 app. But now we got our lows, mids, and highs. Yeah, that's a normal EQ. But over here, drop down menu, we could change it to a Neuromix EQ. So now we have the drums, harmonics, and vocals, kind of like how the Reloop Buddy is set up if you use it in Neuromix mode. And then if you want your regular EQ, of course you could do that. And you could even have these Neuromix crossfaders if you want. All right, so another one is going to be in our loop section. So we have Neuromix, Cue Point, Loops. So now when we are, we're in loops, 
we can go from manual to auto. But now look at bounce. There's no drop down menu next to bounce. If I press bounce, we get this hidden drop down menu and we could go to pad. So you could use the high pass, low pass pad while you're doing a bounce, kind of like this. So you can kind of use it as a build up or a drop or get really creative with it. A lot of DJs use this effect when they're doing like cool transitions. So it's cool that you have it there. All right, the next one is really cool and there's a couple of steps to get to it. But once you get there, it's cool. So we're gonna go to effects down here and then we're gonna press the effects. And then now we have our effects, our flanger. So we're gonna press the drop down menu on the effects. This is how you change your effects. So now we're in this drop down menu here. And then if we go down here to deck, so it says deck. So that means that these effects are gonna be on the deck where you are in. So on this deck over here. So if I press it, the effect will affect the drums, the vocals or harmonics. So you could set it so that the only the vocals will have a flanger. So I'm gonna set that down. It's on vocals, flanger vocals. You see this really cool uh, vocal symbol next to it. So whichever part of a narrow mix you want the effect to be on, you could set it. And then it is represented by these symbols over here, drums, vocals, and then uh, the on off, instead of being this blue that we're used to is this really cool yellowy orangey. So that's how you could change the effects from the whole deck to just one part of Nero Mix. Right, here are some really bonus ones real quick. In Nero Mix, we could do a drop down menu over here and we could change different styles, different bands. You could have two bands, you could have four bands. So if you guys wanna get more involved with Nero Mix, you could do it that way. Next is over here, pay attention to this jog wheel slash record deck. If we get rid of this mixer section in the middle, we get this hidden button over here. What this does is it's kind of like pulling the power cord from a real DJ turntable or a regular turntable. It just slowly winds it down. It's a great way to do transitions from large BPM to small BPM. Like that. And then here in BPM, this is another hidden menu and you could change the BPM. So if you know that a song you loaded up is 100 BPM and it's giving you 85 or something like that, you could change it right here, right 100. This isn't gonna temporarily change the BPM like if you were mixing. This will make it so that that song is saved at that BPM. And then also you could half and double. So if you wanna half and double, you're gonna be using this drop down menu and you could instantly half and double it. And there's also a tempo section where you could adjust some things with the BPM. And Tempo. If you guys want to learn more about the BPM and the waveforms, check out these videos up here where I go way more into detail. Thank you for watching.